All right, so what this meeting, uh, this video is going to be for is going to be uh, how to get registered for the Global Atlantic website. So at this point, you've already received from the carrier Global Atlantic Financial Group uh, your writing number, uh, which is going to allow you to go ahead and get set up here for uh, the website. You're going to go down and uh, register, and it's going to walk you through how to get set up uh, to be able to create a login to be able to come in and um, log in and do the e-applications, the illustrations. Uh, and that's basically what we're going to go over now is doing a illustration for an index universal life product. Um, we're going to go, I'm already set up. I have my uh, user ID and my password already there saved. So I'm going to log in. So when I get in here, obviously this is the, the home page of Global Atlantic, which is essentially Accordia as we call it as well. Um, but you can look under my business. You have your agent hierarchy pending new business. So any business that you've written, you can check on my book of business, all the clients that I've had, uh, commissions, license renewals, things like that. And then later what we're going to go over is the electronic application. So but before you get to that, you obviously need to do the illustrations in order to present to the client and sell the product, right? So you're going to see down here, the fourth thing under quick links, it's illustrations. And then we're going to say new business. Uh, illustrations. We want to run the illustration. Um, we're going to run it under Todd Shipley, right? Or the or the agent that's that uh, whoever you are, you're going to select that. Um, here it's Todd Shipley. We're going to select 001 profile number, and then click to here to run illustrations. Uh, we're just going to click out of here. And we're going to go to clients and cases. So this is where we start out as client and cases because we want to create a case for the client. So here's where um, you're going to create your, your client. So if you're sitting with somebody, you're going to look over here under clients and you want to select somebody that's obviously new. You haven't been with them before, right? So the name is going to be, we'll plug it in as Tom Ford, right? And then uh, the birthday we can put in here again, whatever the client's birthday is, let's say 12-01-1950. That's going to make the client 69, right? So depending on where you're at um, with health and things like that, for an IUL, that's going to be a little bit uh, out of the range of, of something that may, may work for that client, depending on their, their situation, right? So what we want to do is our, our main people that we want to focus on are going to be in that, uh, say, 55, 60 years old and below. So let's say this client is born in 65, which is going to make them 54 years old. We select whether it's a male, female, uh, and then we're going to say return, right? So we want to go ahead and return back. We've created our, our client. They're highlighted here. So Tom Ford is highlighted. We want to come down here to cases and we're going to create a new case for our new client, right? So that's why we do new. We're going to look at a basic illustration. So that's going to bring us to our next uh, next page, which is going to be our breakdown. So this first part up here is just the client's information, right? So we have Tom Ford, what uh, plan that we want to look at going uh, with the client, right? So we've done a lot of uh, Lifetime Builder Elite 2020, Lifetime Foundation Elite, and the Global Accumulator, IUL, is a brand new product that just came out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the uh, Lifetime Builder Elite 2020. Okay, so I know uh, I'm still doing the research on the global accumulator, so, but uh, let's do the Elite 2020 as it loads. So now we've got the plan that we selected for the client. Their next thing is going to be, do are they smoker, non-smoker? Uh, so we want to do, if they are a non-smoker, just leave it alone. Uh, but if they are, we're going to go um, tobacco, right? So if they're a smoker, we're just going to do a standard tobacco. We don't want to do preferred, even though their health is, is good or not. We're just going to let the, um, let the blood work come back and tell us what it's going to be. So if it's a non-smoker or smoker, we're going to put non-tobacco or tobacco. In this case, non-tobacco. Non now, in some of the cases, what I do is I'll do a risk assessment in the home. And how you do that is you call uh, Global Atlantic and you do ask for a risk assessment. And you, over the phone, you tell the underwriters, uh, their hit history, uh, diagnosis, medications, and they'll tell you if based on what they take and what the uh, medications 
or diagnoses they have, if they're going to be rated. And if they are, this is what this rating button would be. You would go into rating. We would select table, and then they're going to give you whatever they, th they think, um, based on the information that you're providing to them, what he would be uh, or she would be. So we, let's say if it was just a, you know, B2. Okay, we're going to go B2, and we're going to say return. Now that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to come back as him being a B2. It just means that um, that's what they're saying based off the information he provided. But once they get the blood work back, that may change either uh, for the worse or for the better, right? So you can put that in based off of what you, the information you got from them. Now we're going to come down here and we're going to select the amount of coverage. So if anybody knows about the index universal life, uh, it's not necessarily all about the, uh, yeah, insurance, right? Because the IULs do so many different things. It provides them, uh, it could provide them tax-free income at retirement. It uh, has the, the ability to earn uh, interest, just like uh, kind of like a 401k, so, but without the loss, right? So the floor here would be 2%, which I'm going to go over to in a little bit, but uh, we're going to select the amount of coverage. So let's say if we're looking in at somebody at a mortgage protection appointment and they're looking at a couple hundred thousand, you know, and we have, uh, they also wanted to look at possibly uh, putting money in um, some type of, uh, you know, market or something that's going to earn interest. This would be one of a, a good opportunity for an IUL, right? So let's just say we're going to do a hundred thousand in, uh, in coverage. We're going to do increasing, right? And that's going to uh, give you the interest. It's going to accumulate on top of the face amount, which is a hundred thousand. We're going to come down here and input the premium. So we're going to be able to find out if uh, how to do with it, what's the minimum they can put in, which if they put the minimum in on a monthly basis, uh, the policy will lapse and the IUL is not the right product for them, right? So people that uh, have these have to overfund these products. So you can see the initial premium would be $204.97, all right? So if they continue to put that in for the life of the, uh, the product, it eventually will lapse on them. And then we want to look at the max as well of what the government allows them to put in every month. So when it pops up here, 492. All right, so we're going to illustrate it um, right in between. Let's just say 350. So we're going to say input, which allows us to input the number we want them to put. So 350. That's saying that the client is going to be putting um, three, $350 away each month into this, this plan. That gives them 100000 in coverage. So what we can do is we can do a quick view if we want, right? So the agent report will give us a quick view. We'll go there now. So it kind of shrinks up all the pages and into just the important ones of where we're at. So we've got three, three pages here. So I'm going to break it down for you. Up on the top right, you're going to see 100000 is selected face amount. So that's the insurance coverage. The 350 is what we said that the, the client will be putting in. And it's going to be an increasing death benefit option, which means obviously the, the cash value, which we'll see here below, is going to go on top of um, the, the uh, death, net death benefit, right? So... Here, the target premium that you, you have here listed is what you're getting paid, right? So that's uh, it's important, obviously, for the, the agent. They want to know what they're going to get paid on that, right? That's your target premium is basically what you're – based on what you're getting paid on. And then um, the interest you have here, 100% uh, remaining of the premium that's not going for the insurance, 7.63%. That's pretty pretty good return, right? So – you're going to have the guaranteed figures here in the middle and the non-guaranteed figures on the right. And then the premium outlay, so what they're paying each year down here all the way through, okay? So if you have, um, if you're looking at it, what, what I like to do is I get down to the, about that 15 to 20 year time frame, and I want to know what they put into it, which is 84000 they put into it. And then what based off the return that the, that's showing now, the illustration would show that they actually would have a cash value of 100622 So they put 84000 in and have 100622 in cash value, right? So that's, um, that's a pretty good, pretty good return there. And then they have coverage. If anything were to happen to them, it would pay the beneficiary out 
$622, okay? And you're gonna see that it continues to grow. Um, now you can, you can get very uh, complex with these and you can actually build your own to where you can go back and you can actually uh, go to cash flow. And this is where you can go in and, and build if you wanted to take out a certain amount every year, if the client did, how long that money would last them over a certain time frame. So if you wanted to from age, say, um, say if they started at 60 or 69 or 70 until say, age 90, how much money they would be able to take out of this product uh, for that time frame and live off of because that money would be tax free. All right, so we're just going to leave that alone. And then um, obviously you have your riders. So the riders that are available here, you can select those and add those. These are the ones that are already included in the product. So if we go back to uh, the policy, that's basically how you do the illustration. You know, so it's, it's um, a little bit complex, but um, if you work at it and you continue to, to just see what each one and how the, how the things uh, play out, you can go back and forth and figure out if you want to put more money in, less money in. So you can build this product for that client, right? So if they have a budget in mind of for insurance, they only wanted to pay maybe $200 a month, yet they are looking for somewhere to put an extra four or $500 in that's going to earn interest. Now, if they're, they're okay with spending $200 on the insurance and they're looking for another $400 to put somewhere, you've got $600 that you actually can put towards this Index Universal Life product that's going to give them a great return. And it's also going to be uh, guaranteed, right? So there's a guaranteed a 2%, average of 7.63, and the cap is 13.5%, right? So... Um, and they have insurance attached to it, meaning they have a death benefit if anything were to happen uh, to them or their family, right? So it's a win-win for them. But that's, that's how you do the illustration. The most important thing if you were to get the sale is that you go to the preview button right here. Remember how we were going the short way through agent report or agent report? We're going to go to preview. And this preview is going to be the entire illustration. So all the pages that are included in the illustration. And what you need to do is you're gonna to have to download this. Here you would download, right? So if you download it, say put the name, right? And then you're gonna, you have to scroll through however you do it. You maybe have to print the application out and they have to, to sign it. But here, even if you're doing an e-app, you've gotta get the illustration signed, right? So. Here on this page is the only place that this is gonna need a signature and that's the, uh, the summary of the illustration. So the insured will need to sign and date and then also the agent with their agent code and date. All right, so hopefully that helped on how to do the illustration, how to work through these buttons. You don't wanna to get too complicated. Uh, there's more advanced training, uh, which uh, Sean Ruggiero is very good at and, and uh, we'll be able to help provide that probably for most of the people on that advanced stage. But this is just for somebody that's beginning to, to want to get into doing an IUL uh, for their client.